I have been calling this from the beginning. Hey there, hi there, ho there, Andrew here with a little of the Walking Dead talk, and if you have a connection to the internet, which you should, it's 2016, then you have already seen the Walking Dead Season 7 sneak peek teaser trailer, which is called Right Hand Man. So let's get into a few things, but before that, spoilers. Now I've been saying for a while that I know that Maggie is the one that gets this. Actually, I've been saying it since the end of Season 6, and it only makes sense if you have read the comics, or if you have ears that you've already heard by now that Glenn is the one that gets the bat from Negan in the comic book series. It is a pretty gruesome scene and it makes Negan even more of a bad guy because Glenn is such a good guy. But right now we are talking about the TV series so how do we amp up what we've seen in the comic books to the TV series? You do that by having Negan kill somebody, and that somebody being Maggie. Now, are there other expendable characters in The Walking Dead? Yes, there is. I've said that Eugene is basically pointless right now because he has given Rick the plans on how to make bullets from scratch, and the storyline of him being brave has now been put to rest ever since he's been inspired by watching Grease seeing Danny tell Riz to go bite the weenie. So could he die? Yes, he could. Would that be epic? Would that be something that everybody would be talking about? in the beginning of season seven? No! So Maggie dies because that's what people are going to talk about. But mostly because that's what makes Negan look even more evil than what he was when he was in the comic books. He basically kills a woman that's in the group, but not just any woman. He kills the pregnant woman. And I think it is safe to say that she is having a miscarriage right now. And I think the writers and the producers might have done that just to take a little bit of the sting out of it all. Let me digress here just for one moment. See, in the comic book, Maggie has Glenn's child and then has a power struggle with Gregory on who controls Hilltop. And other than some creepy sexual vibe that Gregory has for Maggie, you can completely interchange the characters of Glenn and Maggie. No one would know the difference. And even though Maggie has this, quote, believes in Rick Grimes thing in the comic books, she's upset that nothing was done to save Glenn's life. Now keep following me here on this one. Glenn in the show idolizes two men, and those two men would be Herschel and Rick. And he's been with Rick since the beginning, actually saved him when Rick was trapped in a tank back in Atlanta. But imagine, just for this... Imagine Glenn seeing the man that he reveres as a hero let the woman who is pregnant with his child and he loves the daughter of the other hero that he idolizes die. Do you think that there might be some type of tension? Of course, if Maggie dies, then Glenn doesn't have a child to take care of, right? Wrong! He has Enid, and expect Enid to take the place of Lydia in the comic books to be Carl's love interest. So what does that mean? Well, that basically means that Glenn could end up being Rick Grimes' in-law. And that might make things a little bit awkward, especially since Maggie dies. But seriously, these guys have been through it all since the beginning, and they would make pretty good in-laws. The only thing that I'm worried about is for the kids is that Chandler Riggs needs to cut his hair because Carl looks like some of the girls that I dated when I was a kid. And that's starting to creep me out. Now let's get back to the trailer. Yes, you can see an engagement ring lying in the blood and bits of skull, tooth, brain matter, whatever that is. And it sure does look like Maggie's ring. So I'm going to say she died and the ring is there because... I just don't see Glenn getting it and then her taking her ring off and going, well, I'm back on the market. And lastly, for Maggie being the one that gets the bat, Rick doesn't have any blood on his face until Negan has a beatdown. And he only has blood on the right side of his face. And who is directly to his right? Maggie. So let's go the next step in this trailer, and that is when Negan is talking about how important it is to have a right hand, and then drags Rick into the trailer. And the trailer is directly behind them, so that means that Rick didn't move at all during the beatdown, so again, Maggie is the one that died. But getting dragged into the trailer, does that actually mean that Rick might lose his right hand via his own hatchet? that Negan has? Well, if you look in the comic books, the governor took Rick's hand already, and have you ever noticed that the governor looks a lot like Danny Trejo? Anyway, we have seen other characters replace other characters in major plot points. Examples would be Bob replacing Dale with his leg being eaten by the cannibals, or Herschel replacing Tyrese with the governor decapitation scene, or Denise getting an arrow in the eye instead of Abraham, and possibly Maggie getting the bat instead of Glenn. 
And that just leads to Negan cutting off Rick's hand instead of the governor. And I got a prediction here for you. Watch Sasha fill in the storylines of Andrea in the comic books because Sasha is the only sniper in the Walking Dead TV show and there's a couple of storylines that revolve around a sniper that involves Andrea. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? And no replying way after everything's been revealed and telling me that I'm wrong because that's just bad sportsmanship. If you like the video, then go ahead and tap the like button. Let's try to get to 50 likes. Share with your friends in all forms of social media. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified the moment I upload. And I will see you in the next video.